Before you lower the trailer, you need to remove the lock here and then also pull the ramp out and then you can lower the unit. You also need to remove the pin and the tongue and there will be two pins in each axle that needs to be removed before lowering the trailer. Fresh water supply. Access to the shower macerator. Hydraulic pump. Sight gauge. Clean out. Propane. Those need to be filled before use. You need a 50 amp power supply in order to run the trailer. That can be supplied from a building or the generator as well. The manual for the generator is in the a binder in the mechanical room, but you'll want to definitely use this, this one, the 120 to 140, 30 amp. So you go from here to, um, you'll have to get a cord that has a 50 amp, a 30, to a 50 that goes to here. Yeah, right. I don't want to keep switching them. For the ADA ramp, you simply unlock that and then the ADA ramp will fold out and it'll fold out and attach here. And then there are three bolts in the binder in the mechanical room that you'll attach to the top of the ramp and that'll secure it in place. Inside of your mechanical room, you have your two remote controls. This one has to dr plug directly to the hydraulic pump in order to raise and lower. This one is a remote that you can use. All of your keys are inside of here for the doors and access panels and also the ramp. The fresh water comes in through that blue line and you have two options. You can either fill up your fresh water tank um, or you can close that off and bypass it and go right to your water pump. Of course, all the lines need to be on for the water pump. Uh, all of these lines need to be on. They're all clearly labeled and there's a sheet inside of this manual that tells you what number each of those correspond to. All of these lines as well should be turned on, including your propane lines. The only valve that should not be on is this one and that would be to antifreeze only and you will not need that in Hawaii. If you're going to move the trailer, we recommend you drain the fresh water tank and that's what this red valve does. It'll drain the tank and it'll drain it into the, uh, right into the ground. The hydraulic pump, you're able to charge the battery for the hydraulic pump by having the trailer plugged in and then turning that switch to the right. And it says turn on for 24 hours. So once you have it charged up for 24 hours, you can turn this back off. The 12 volt system is clearly labeled. The breaker box is clearly labeled. 